Victoria Black are playing Aaron. Oh, no, but I, my character wouldn't do that because I can climb walls. My character wouldn't do that because I can see through walls. My character wouldn't do that because I can break through walls. All right, well, Crichton and Aaron will do it then. <laughs> When I was asked to audition with Ben, I think what they were looking for was just a spark. And I'm very proud of the fact that I walk away from this project with a, with a real friend. Is it tea break or something weird? Was it tea yet? I can't believe I didn't hear the words food or tea break. Watching the other actors work is always so inspiring. Watching Ben and Claudia grapple with the text and put their own particular spin on things to tip it into this edgy, Farscape, Bill. Uh, yes and no. They did. They'll bring it back to life. Crystallized? Last warning. It's quite unique, and that's such a product of... We're getting married. Congratulations! Congratulations. Blah, blah. I've come blah, for my blah, alimony. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually uh, child support you were looking for, Dolly. Right, and doing your alimony and child support. I got up the duff, especially for the fans. Just to show you how real it is, Beautiful. Here you go. <coughs> the miracle of space. Look how flat my tummy is. I have the best personal trainer in the world. Sleepies now. It's time to feed. Would you mind? Then there's puppets involved. Oh, well, well, what about the puppets? We're kind of like Muppet puppets? Well, no, animatronic puppets. And that and the fact that when you work with a puppet, you know that the puppet costs more than you do. They're saying, don't hurt the puppet! And, you know, Ryan's all sort of riling away like this, and it's the only... I'm sort of looking down at him, doing my very serious close-up. We're going to die, we're going to die any moment, we're going to die. And I'm like, dude, it's like you're shaving cream on your face. It's not moving, that ain't frothing. You're a puppet. There's something about the expression in Pilot's eyes. It's so articulated, the paintwork and everything is so beautiful that whenever he would look at me as a puppet, I was convinced I was looking at something real. Pilot would just look at me with these beautiful, doughy eyes and, and I was gone. We've moved into that pickled hour where we're in overtime and we missed afternoon tea and without the propulsion of food or the incentive of it, Hilarity and insanity ensues. Are there only three days to go? Is that... Are you serious? Don't, don't joke. I'm gonna cry. See you on the telly. I really didn't think that Brian would be able... He's an extraordinary producer. I mean, the fact that he managed to talk people into finishing a show that, you know, I mean, I've watched E! True Hollywood Story. Some shows, they just blow everyone up and that's the end. See you later, that's all you get. Because this is where you end and my heart's beating, so I probably won't make it through it. Just going to say something I forgot to say at the party. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't do anything wrong. We did a great job. And they cut us off before we finished telling the story. And I've talked to a lot of people and Andrew and, and Ben. And the big regret is, we didn't get to finish the story, and we all know that the house is like 80% painted. But we didn't screw up. This was made in Australia by Australians. This is the best science fiction show that's ever been made for television. You guys are fucking great. <laughs>